Do you know how you receive the Holy Spirit? From Jesus. From Jesus. You don't need a priest. You don't need a holy man. You don't need a shaman. You don't need to go to a sacred place. You don't need to go to a place where there's spiritual energy that you can connect into. That's all demonism. You go to Jesus. One mediator between man and God, the man Christ Jesus. That's what the Bible says. You say, Jesus, here's my sin. He says, here's the Holy Spirit. Wow, what a, what a trade. What a trade. You take my sin, give me the Holy Spirit. Deal, done, thanks, awesome, great. And that's, that's, that's the offer that Jesus gives. That's the offer that Jesus gives. He gives you the Holy Spirit. That's what John says. The story continues. Verse 22, now Jesus is going to get baptized, showing his life, death, burial, resurrection. And the Holy Spirit descended on him in bodily form like a dove. And a voice came from heaven, verse 22, you are my beloved son in whom I'm well pleased. I love this. Here's the whole Trinity. One God, three persons. God the Father speaks from heaven. God the Son is coming up out of the water. God the Holy Spirit descends on Jesus in the form of a dove. Here's the whole Trinity. And God the Father speaks from heaven. In you I am well pleased. And I would say this to you. If you are in Christ, then God the Father says the same thing to you. If you are in Christ, then he is well pleased with you. Because your life is in Christ, your forgiveness is in Christ, your righteousness is in Christ. We don't labor so that God will love us. We labor because he does. We don't labor so that God would make us holy, but in Christ he has. And before Jesus even started his public ministry, the Father was well pleased with him. Before you do anything, if you are in Christ, God is pleased with you. Don't let the enemy whisper in his ear. Don't let him condemn you, shame you, cripple you. Receive Christ, receive the Holy Spirit, receive righteousness as a gift, and then let the Father tell you, I'm well pleased with you. Now we're going to go do some things together. Not so that I will love you, but because I do. Because you are in Christ and I love Christ. And if you are in Christ, I love you. 